event. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Ivet. How are you today? More or less. Uh -huh. Did I you work today? Have, huh? I have a headache. You have a headache. Have you taken aspirin or something? Ibuprofen. Okay, good, good. I hope you feel better. Mm, All right, me. welcome back. Long vacation. Oh, she <laughs> On vacation. <laughs> um, okay, welcome back everybody. Did you have a good day? Yes. Nice. Did yes. you have a productive day? Yes. Excellent. That's the idea. Make your day as positive, as productive as possible. Yep. All right. So let's begin. What's today's date? Today is August 10th. August 10th. That is correct. August 10th. 2021. Yep, 2021. Very good. Do you remember the topics we covered uh, yesterday? We spoke about vacation. We spoke about vacation. That is correct. Recipes. recipes. Sequence address. Exactly. We were talking about recipes by using sequence address. That is correct. Can you give me examples of sequence adverbs? First, first, after, 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 after that, after that finally, yes. first, then after, after next. And what is the last one? Finally. finally, finally. What is the number one? First. first. Uh -huh. Can first. they be changed? No. no, they cannot. Yeah. Which ones can be changed? Then, after that, yeah, after then. That. Then, after and next. Then, yeah. after next, next, after then, uh, after next, then. So you can switch the three in whatever position that you want because they work as synonyms. Got it? All right. And also, we were talking yeah. about the differences between will and going to. Um, what are the differences between will and going to? Going, to, going to when you have affirmation. plans. Exactly. Going to for plans. Going to when you are sure about something. Right? Fine. What about will? When you are not sure about possibilities. About the things you... Ability. Right. You use will when you are not sure when your plans are possibilities. Exactly. Any questions or comments? No. Okay. How many tenses do we have in English? 12 tenses. 12 tenses. 12 tenses. Remember, every tense has a particular uh, structure and every tense has a particular function. Some tenses, they have extra uh, functions like the simple past. Uh, when do we use the simple past tense? What's the function of the simple past tense? It's to talk about end in the past, but it's not in, in an indeterminate time. Okay. I don't know when is the end of the action, but it's in the past. Okay, with the simple past, you usually mention when. So okay. I was born in 1971. I graduated from a university in El Salvador. I bought my first motorcycle six years ago. So usually you mention the time. Why? Because you're making reference for activities that are completely finished. So I okay. broke my arm. The first time that I broke my arm, I was seven years old. So you, you start making numbers, seven years old. Also, that happened in 1978. 1978, I broke my arm for the first time. Then in 19, 
what day? 1989, I had a serious car accident in the United States and I broke my other arm. Mm -hmm. So when you use the simple past tense and I, and I broke the window too with my head. When you talk about the simple past tense, you usually mention dates. You usually mention when the action happened. So it's an action that is completely finished. How do you say me casé hace cinco años? I got married five years ago. Exactly. I got married five years I ago. Married. Five years ago is history. Five years ago is part of the past. Now, if you talk about the second conditional, si usted tomara más agua, how do you say that one in English? I drink. If I if will. Uh -uh. Si usted if tomara más agua. If, if you, you will. Will. If I drink you more okay, water. Listen, what is the past tense of drink? What's the past tense of drink? Drunk. Drunk. Drink. 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 Let, let, let me put drink. it in the chat. Hold on. Drink. So you say drink, drink, drunk. 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 If you drink. If you drink more, you drink more, water, more water, sus riñones estarían contentos. How do you say that? How do you say riñones in it? Kidneys. Kidneys. Your kidneys would be happy. Would be happy. So what is the message? The person is not drinking much water because you're telling the person, si usted bebiera más agua. What is the message? This person is not drinking enough water. Si yo tuviera tiempo. What is the message? I don't have time. Right? How do you say si yo tuviera tiempo? If I have time. I have had, if I had time. 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 Uh -huh. Si yo no lo conociera usted. If I didn't know you. If I didn't know you. If I didn't, if I didn't, if I didn't know you. So once again, to talk about the second conditional, it's mandatory that you use the simple past structure. There is no connection with the simple past. But you ask for the structure and you use it. Right? How do you say si El Salvador fuera más grande? El Salvador. El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador went. Were. Were. Uh, were. If El Salvador were, were bigger. Were more bigger. Bigger. Were bigger. Were bigger. bigger. Fuera más more grande. bigger. Mm. Uh -uh. If El Salvador were, were bigger. bigger. Were bigger, just right. bigger. Yeah, just bigger. Small, smaller, big, bigger, mm -hmm. fast, faster, mm -hmm. cheap, cheaper. Don't use much. Don't you don't say more, more because mm -hmm. big is a short it's adjective. A short, yes. And with short adjectives, you never use more. You just put ER, uh -huh. right? Yes. Now, yes. do you remember wishes? Desearía que no lloviera. I, I wish, wish. I will. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. Que no lloviera. It I didn't wish. rain. It didn't I rain. Wish. Remember, I when we're talking about rain. wishes, when we're talking about wishes, you always use the structure of the simple past. But there is no connection with the past. It's just the structure that you use. Is it? Okay. Uh -huh. This How is this? the second condition. The second condition. No, that's, 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 those are wishes. Mm -hmm. Me gustaría que estuvieras acá. How do you say that one? I wish you were here. I, I wish, wish you were here. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. Me gustaría estar allá. I wish I, I wish I were there. I wish I were there. I wish I were there. Me gustaría que caminaras más rápido. I wish you walked faster. Excellent. I wish that you walked faster. So imagine someone takes you to a cafe talon and this person is always waiting for you until he tells you, I wish you walked faster. Right? Gustaría que caminara más rápido. Anyways. Any questions about wishes or the second conditional? How do you say desearía no usar lentes? 
I wish I didn't didn't wear didn't wear glasses. 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 Uh -huh. Right. My grandfather, he was 94 years old when he died. And he was able to read without glasses. Really? Without glasses. And he was 94. 94. I'm oh. 49 and I cannot <laughs> read without my glasses. There's a huge difference. A big difference. Yeah. But different lifestyles, of course. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. um, questions or comments? Teacher, when you uh -huh. when you told us about the the tense, the, the twelve tense. Uh -huh, twelve tenses. A vision and second conditional are tense. No, those are this only is for the past. Okay. When you when you talk about the second conditional, the second conditional is to talk about things that are not real. Si usted viviera cerca de acá, ¿por qué se le considera que no es real? Porque usted vive lejos cuando se lo dice. Si usted hablara francés, ¿por qué es no real? Porque usted no habla francés. You see what I mean? So, to express the second conditional, uh, the connection is that you need to use the structure of the simple past. Pero son estructuras que usted le pide prestadas a otras estructuras okay. para decir algo en particular. Ok. Ajá. Es como una forma de expresarse, nada más. Exactly. Exactly. ¿Ya? Yeah. How do you say si yo tuviera pelo largo? If I, had, if I had a long hair. If I had a long hair. Necesitaría un cepillo. I don't need a brush. Estos son mis cepillos, miren. This. <laughs> so in the morning, yeah. I put something in my hand and I go like this. And I said, okay, fine. <laughs> That's it. That's what I do. Anyways, okay. I questions. Uh, questions, questions. How do you say, if I eat it, you eat fruit. Oh. If you still come here after the if you ate, if you ate, I ate, if I ate, because it's a fact. Remember, when you're talking about you the second ate. conditional, it's mandatory that you use the structure of the simple past tense, positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Si yo no corriera todas las mañanas, how do you say that? I didn't run. run. If I didn't every run every morning. morning. Every morning. What is the message? Que si corro. Mm -hmm. So the message is always the opposite. Mm -hmm. Si yo no corriera. What's the message? Que corro. Que yes. Si yo no te conociera. Que quiere decir? Que te conozco. I didn't... Right? <laughs> ¿Ya les han dicho eso? Yeah. No te conozco. No. <laughs> Another class. Not no, you no, guys. No, no. Other people. Other people. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Questions. So that is the simple past. Now, yesterday we were talking about future to talk about will and going to. Mm -hmm. That is the first conditional. Fíjese bien, el primer condicional y el segundo condicional no son tiempos, solamente son estructuras que se ocupa para hablar. Mm -hmm. First conditional is something that you do now with a result in the future. What happens if you take your medicine? You will feel better tomorrow. If you take your medicine, your doctor will be happy. If you take your medicine, you will save money. Something that you do now with a result in the future. Any questions? How do you say, si yo no me rasuro? Mm -hmm. If I didn't. Si if no I didn't rasuro, shape. Si yo no me rasuro, no, I'm not saying si yo no me rasurara, si yo no me rasuro. Uh, if I don't shave, uh, if I don't shave, me crece la barba. How do you no, say that? No, simple pass. Uh -uh. No. No, remember, we have four conditionals, zero, first, second, and third. 
in each conditional has a, a function. Zero conditional is something that is always true. Listen carefully. If you drink water, your kidneys are happy. Is that true or not? True or not? True. 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 If you true. drink water, your kidneys are happy. No. If you drink water, uh, your organisms, they function better. That's always true. Yeah. The first conditional, which is today's topic, you talk about something that you do now with a result in the future. Si usted no ocupa sus lentes, how do you say that? If you don't wear if you don't wear your lens. If you don't wear your glasses, you will have serious problems. That's the doctor's recommendation. If you don't wear your glasses, you will have serious problems in the future. Right? If you don't listen to your mother, you will be in trouble. If you don't save money, you will not be prepared for emergencies. So something that you do now with a result in the future, they can be positive or they can be negative. Right? Questions? Questions or comments? No? no. Okay, let me share something with you. Right now, you guys will do the practice. Uh, this is, uh, sorry, this is yeah. zero conditional and the first conditional? Uh, the zero conditional is something that is always true. If you okay. drink water, your body's happy. And if you save money, you're always prepared. First conditional, something that you do now with a result in the future. Oh, okay. So if you drink water, your body will be happy, will be happy. Mm -hmm. If you so save money, you will be ready for emergencies. Do you mm -hmm. use gas in the first condition? First condition. Yeah, you use and will. And second, you use past tense. Exactly. Okay. With the second conditional, you use past tense. With the third conditional, that's a different story. Si me hubieras llamado, habría llegado por vos. ¿Qué es lo que pasó? No le llamó y no llegó por la persona. That's the third conditional. We'll be talking about the third conditional later on. But there are four conditionals. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's All right. So let me send you the, the image you will be practicing with right now. You see this here. Okay, I sent you the, the questions. If you wanna take, uh, how do you say capture pantalla in English? Screenshot. Screenshot. Screenshot, exactly. If you wanna take a screenshot, I got the questions here too. You see them? Yes. Okay, so you can take a screenshot. So you're supposed to answer, um, the nine questions, two to number 10, two, three, four, five until 10. So let me create the pairs. Six people. Eight. Eight. Remember if you're partner is not answering, is not responding, or he or she is not here, let me know. Here we go. Practice those questions, please. Hello, Flor.
my real username is teacher enjoy man. Teacher enjoy is como enjoy. Uh huh. Disfrutar. Ah oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I, what will you do if you join? It's, it's savings. Savings. Ah, savings. Yeah. Okay. If, Teacher, yes. how do you say when I uh, uh, ask for money? Borrow me? Borrow? Okay. okay. Borrow. Can I borrow $20? Can yeah. I borrow $20? Yeah, that's, that's okay. 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 Uh, next question. Next. What will you do if you get a, a headache? Send a message. Send a message. Send a message. And the number three. Um, three is what, what do we, do we, do yes. If you don't enjoy life in Ukraine. Ukraine, okay, yes. United Kingdom. United uh -huh. Kingdom, yes. Oh, thank you, teacher. Sure. Will you, you don't enjoy mm -hmm. like what? And the the other question is, uh, what will you do if you is your friend invites invites you to the cinema tonight? I I I will I will go with him. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I am busy. I, 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 I am in, in a class. Separar. <laughs> what does it mean? It's separar with your partner. Um, I will be sad and crying, maybe, but maybe you can then you feel better. We can talk, we can say to the teacher if we if we split up uh, with the partner working right now, no? Yes. The other one is your neighbor. Uh-huh. Uh what will you do if your neighbors annoy you? Mm -hmm. I would try to. I would try to be nice with them. And I'm going to be, I will be uh, just like I am, whatever if they, if they are, are not so okay with me, that's, uh, that's money. No. I think maybe I will go to talk with them, maybe. And but try to. That you're going to say, uh, what happened? Why I you don't annoy? It's like a uh, no caerle bien, no? It's like uh, no. Molestar. Ah, molestar, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, mm -hmm. I think uh, sometimes here in El Salvador, if you go and and talk with them, people are are are, are worse. Dangerous. <laughs> Sometimes. They do, do the opposite. I had uh, that problem oh, many times ago, many years ago, and then I, mm -hmm. uh, I I buy a big pizza and I went to... Okay. Uh, I think. Turn on the camera. Okay. <laughs> the, okay. the next one. The next one. Uh, what will you do if you get a headache? Um, I think um,
All right, all right. Any questions about the last activity? Any questions about vocabulary? Teacher, in in this in, in this case, when I I am using uh, uh, the will the bare will the conditional, I can answer. I would. Yes, you can. But remember, the rule says that when you're using the first conditional, you should say um, you should use will. But in a real life situation, a real life conversation, you can use would too. Okay. Thank or you. could, or might, or, yep. Any okay, other how questions? Do, yep. How do, how do you say tienda? Tienda ah. de la tienda, pues. Uh, ¿No? La tienda de la niña uh -huh. Mari. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, that's a convenience store. Convenience store. Convenience store. Convenience store. You can yeah. also say grocery store. And ah, grocery. Grocery store. Grocery store. Yeah. How do you say, nunca he ido? I have never gone. I have never gone. Exactly. Uh, okay. I have I? never gone. Yes, Jenny? What do you mean? What do you say? Split up. Uh, wh which number are you talking about? Mm. It's about the question. Huh? I, I... About the question. Number seven. Number, seven. number seven. What would you yes, do? Yes, the oh. number seven. Okay. Yes. Ha have you heard about banana split? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's yes. a banana split? It separates. So, what would you do if you separate from your boyfriend or husband? Mm. House, wife, I, girlfriend. I will cry. You will cry. Okay. <laughs> yes. I will jump from the second floor. <laughs> Third floor. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any other questions or comments? Thank you, teacher. Sure. Annoy. Annoy. What's the meaning of annoy? Problem. It's uncomfortable. Ah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Annoy is uncomfortable. Yes. So imagine that your neighbor plays music at 11 p.m. Uh, you're oh, that's oh, annoying. Yes. annoying. Mm -hmm. Or someone with a loud, noisy motorcycle at six in the morning. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's yes. annoying too. Yeah. I okay. Understand. Any other questions or comments? So remember, when you get to the final exam, um you will find all the topics that we have covered in class, including uh, wishes. Remember, when we talk about wishes, you use the simple past tense. When you talk about second conditional, you use the simple past tense as well. Any questions or comments? Teacher, some advice to memorize uh, the correct use of the simple past? Uh, it's only practice. Practice. Okay. It's only practice. Remember, practice makes perfect. Practice mm -hmm. makes perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's always good that when, whenever you have the chance to use the language, you include conversation that has to do with the simple past. So how was your vacation? Where did you go? Who went with you? And how was it? When did you return? So practice makes perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure. Anything else? Any other comments or questions? Sure, Richard. Yes, yes, George. Uh, the number 10. Uh huh. What would you do if you run out of food? What meaning? Okay. Run out. Okay. What's the meaning of run out, people? A little fun. Run out. When I, uh, I don't have something. Exactly. Sí. Acabarse. Si se le mm -hmm. acaba la comida en su casa. I don't have anything. Right. What is the past tense of run? Run. 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 So how do you say se acabó la gasolina? Gasoline. Run out. Run out. Run out. Run out. Run out. Or let's say you're in a competition and the referee comes. 
We ran out of time. Mm, we okay. ran out of time. Se nos acabó el tiempo. We ran we out of time. Ran out of time. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you ever ran out of gasoline while you're driving? No. No. Never. 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 A motorcycle? No, never. No? Okay. So I guess I'm the only person that has experienced that. Uh -huh. <laughs> it happened to my motorcycle like three different times. Like, oh my God, I forgot to put gasoline. And you have to push the motorcycle or you ask for help. Okay, questions or comments? Nothing. No? All right, so um, let me share this with you. It's right here. Okay, can you see the questions in 5.3? Yeah. Okay, in 5.3, you're supposed to listen to this audio. After you listen to the audio, you're supposed to answer uh, the five questions that we have here. Got it? Yes. Let me share the audio with you. See this here. Uh -huh. Right here. So I invite you to open your, to go to the platform and go to 5.3 if you have the time. If not, listen to the, uh, listen to the audio and we'll answer the questions here. Go ahead. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What hmm. about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm so I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Go watch what are you going to do? I'm what about you? Any plans? I'm yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. So Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah, I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, hey, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. All right, pay attention. What is the answer for number one? Where are the girls going to stay? At the relative's beach house. Exactly. What's the meaning of relative? It's uh, like uh, a family, no, family, family member. Family member. Yes. Family member. Okay. okay. All right, what about number two? Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's going to the beach. Okay, fine. Let's try this one. What about number three? What might Julia do with her cousin? Go fishing. Go fishing. Go fishing. Okay, let's try that one. Number four, I'm booked for this weekend. I am going to camping. What's the meaning of booked in this case? What's booked? Maybe I, 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 a, 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 a schedule, a schedule? Schedule. Schedule is a good word, yes. I am booked, that means I am scheduled 
I have activities, I am busy. Good, very good. So I'm booked for this for this weekend. I will go camping. Is will go camping, correct? Yes. Okay, and number five, what should you say if you're unsure? Maybe I will leave it out of the house. Maybe I will live around the, the, the end of town. Okay, so maybe indicates a possibility. All right, let's check. Let's revise the answers. Aha, uh -huh. which one did you miss? Number four. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to the I'm going to go camping. camping. Exactly, because I am booked. That means that you already have plans. I'm sure. Exactly. So I'm going to go camping. Let's check. Send. Now we got to Good. So remember, when you're talking about possibilities, you say will. When you're talking about uh, plans, you say going to. Questions or comments? No. What part of the platform are you doing? I finished. You finished the platform? Yes. yes. So I for, finished too. So for the ones that already finished the platform, you sleep like angels, huh? Hmm. You don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> and the ones that are not finished, you're waking up in the middle of the night and the first thing that comes to your mind is the platform, the platform, the platform. Yes. So finish the platform. Remember, that's the only requirement we're asking from you. To finish the platform, you need to have minimum 80%. Questions or comments? Give me one second, one second. Thank you. Uh, questions or comments about will or going to? I guess not. It's clear. All right. Now this is uh, the listening part. You need to do the listening part to answer the questions. Then you have the vocabulary section. I love my neighborhood. It's very what? Hey. 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 All right. What about number two? I live on a very busy street. It can get a little bit. Nice. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's blank to have parking spaces near my apartment. Comfortable. Convenient. 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 Convenient or comfortable? Convenient. Convenient. Okay. What's the meaning of dingy? Dingy, do you remember dingy? Dingy is a synonym of dirty, not clean. Okay. okay. What about number four? Our house is modern and very bright. It has huge. 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 What's huge. the meaning of huge? Big. 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 Very big, very big. Enormous. Okay. Yeah, enormous. enormous. Yes. Okay. So we send it. And there you have it. 12 out of 12. Then you have uh, enough and not enough. So our apartment is too small. There are what? No. Not space, Not space enough. enough. Not space enough. Are you sure? 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Not from is not. Not space and enough? Not space okay. Enough. What about number two? People can see into our house. There is? Not privacy, privacy enough. enough. Okay, not privacy enough. All right. What about number three? My car is too small. It doesn't have? Enough space. Enough not space. space. Enough, enough space. space. All right. Let's check. Uh-huh. What happened? Uh, we don't know. Okay, so remember this? Not uh, rooms and no. Huh? Not no, rooms and no. There are. Is not that singular rooms. or plural? Plural. Not rooms. Plural. And space is singular. Yes. So it doesn't match. So there are not, not rooms enough enough. rooms. Okay, yeah, then we have means. number two. People can see into our house. There is not enough not space. Enough privacy. 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 Not privacy. enough privacy because if I look at the window, I said, oh, they're watching TV. Oh, they're playing Nintendo. So there's not enough privacy. My car is too small. That one is good. So you send it. And then you get 12 out of 12. As many or as much? What's the difference between many and much? Countable many is countable. for countable and much countable. is for uncountable. uncountable. Excellent. Many is for countable, much is for non-countable. So you go like this, my apartment doesn't have much windows. Can you count windows? As many yes. windows. Yes. As sure. many windows as. One, two, three, four, five, seven windows. Yes. All right. Yes. What about yes. number two? Our house is as common as as convenient as 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 convenient as second. Right. Remember when you say my my our house is as convenient as your yes. apartment yes. which one is more convenient according to this particular sentence our house our house is as convenient as your apartment so which one is more convenient when you they are, are and both, both two. Are convenient. the two You're are convenient the two are convenient oh. Or you can say, um, San Miguel is as far as Usulután. So that means that San Miguel and Usulután, they got the same distance. Yes. Right? Right. And you go to number three, modern apartments often don't have as much space, much as. space as. Okay. As much space as older ones. So you send it. And you get all the answers are right. And then expressing wishes. What is the structure that we use when we express wishes? Uh huh. I has. It's where we're from. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun. It were more fun. It were more fun. Ah. I can find my cell phone, my new cell phone. I wish. I can find it. I could I find it. Wish I could find. Uh huh. Number three, my boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish. He, he, he were in good shape. He were in good shape. Good shape. Ah, he he were. Exactly. Yes. So the answer is 12 out of 12. Now we got the simple past and the present perfect. When do we use the simple past, people? Action finished. Actions that are Action finished. finished. What about the present perfect? Actions begin. Didn't finish. In the past. Actions past. that are not and finished. Not finished. Not finished. Right? Present. So for example, I was in Metro Centro today at 1 p.m. I was in Metro Centro today at 1 p.m. 
Is that simple past or present perfect? Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. Simple past. We have been in class since 9 p.m. Present perfect. Yes. Present yes. perfect. Because 9 p.m. starts in the past, but it's still active, still active. continuous. Right? Not finished. It's not finished, exactly. Have you ever... What? It's... Eating, eating. Is it eat, eat or eat? Eating, eating. 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 Okay, yes, I have. I, I went. went. I went. I went. Why is went? Because you say last week, and last week is a time expression that makes connection with the simple past. Yes. Did you? Like, 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 one, two, like, or three. Like, one, one, one. one. Uh -huh. Did you like it? Yes. Yes. It were awful. It were awful. What, what's the meaning of awful? Yes. Look at the question. Did you like it? Yes. Yes. It was delicious. Yes, uh -huh. delicious. Also, it's the opposite of delicious. Yes. They're mm -hmm. opposite. Yes. So you said, uh, I went to the dentist uh, yesterday. Oh, really? How was it? Oh, my God. It was awful. <laughs> awful means very bad. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Yeah, horrible. Horrible. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? No. No, no teacher. Okay, so remember we have four more classes. We have classes tomorrow. How do you say pasado mañana? It's the day, day after tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. After tomorrow. And then after tomorrow. the following week, we have classes Monday and Tuesday, and we finish the level. So make sure, make sure that you're not absent tomorrow, you're not absent Thursday, you're not absent Monday, and you're not absent on Tuesday. Okay. Questions or comments before you go? No. Nothing. No? All right. So thank you very much for your time. Okay. And you. have a good Thanks. night. Brush have a good night. night. See you tomorrow. Good, 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 good night. night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. Saira, Jenny.